For RCR Wireless News, I'm Sean Kenny, and we've got a great topic for you today. Fixed wireless access as a tool to help bridge the digital divide. It's a pleasure to welcome Dimple Singh, Senior Professional for Regional Operator Networks Business for Samsung Electronics in America. So Dimple, to start off, maybe set the stage for us a bit. Fixed wireless access is growing fast in the U.S., so I'm trying to understand the big picture here, and specifically the opportunity for fixed wireless access in some of these underserved markets. To level set, uh... Uh, fixed wireless access is basically a technology which uses uh, radio frequency rather than a, a traditional cable or you know a fiber optic cable, uh, right? FWA is very easy and quick to deploy and can really reach uh, to the, to the wider audience and customers. Um, and uh, fixed wireless access uh, is cost efficient when you compare to deploy fiber. Our approach uh, to you know to reach out to these underserved and unserved market is basically hybrid approach, where uh, uh, fixed wireless access can really reach the last mile and cover a larger area and cater to uh, a wide uh, customers base out there. Unlike traditional wired broadband services such as you know cable, uh, fixed wireless access let organizations connect uh, their web-based applications or services. Um, but it does so without the need of you know digging, uh, burying, or uh, uh, stringing along physical installations over the last mile. Uh, fixed wireless access, as I was saying, is very cost efficient to deploy. It can save up to 40 or 50 percent on on capex while uh, deploying on a geographical constrained area where you know fiber is really uh, difficult uh, to deploy because of the geography. Uh, I mean nearly. One third of uh, American, if you talk to, they say that uh, uh, broadband access is basically costly. And the reason for that is because fiber is really uh, costly to deploy, right? And uh, in US market, fixed wireless access is a game changer. I mean, if you look at the statistics, top three uh, tier one operators are already deploying this. And uh, almost 90% of their net ads has been from broadband fixed wireless access. Uh, all three operators, uh, um, T-Mobile, Verizon, and AT&T are deploying it. And now even regional customers are adopting this. So I would say that fixed wireless access has been adopted 100%, where uh, every operator is looking this as in a growth opportunity and deploying these services. Uh, as of 2023, almost 95% of net ads of uh, top tier three operators are from fixed wireless access. So looking at the confidence and potential of fixed wireless access, uh, we definitely believe that uh, this will play a key role in bridging the gap in digital divide. Really compelling figures there in terms of CapEx and time to market with fixed wireless compared to fiber. And you rightly point out this is a big growth story. Zooming in on the digital divide, the focal point is the BEAD program, Broadband Equity Access and Deployment, which is providing billions of dollars to expand access to high-speed internet in the United States. So what does this mean for fixed wireless? Should the funding availability provide a broader sort of catalyzation for deployment? BEAD is basically providing uh, these money grants to all 50 U.S. states to deploy uh, you know broadband access services and the the higher aim there is basically to meet this requirement of 100 downlink and 20 mbps uplink services along with you know uh, serving the goal of underserved and unserved uh, if, if you look at recent uh, uh, applications these states have uh, got approved of. I mean, all three of them, uh, uh, Kansas, Louisiana, and Nevada is already approved and many more to come, you know, uh, on the horizon very soon. So in, in the context of BEAT, uh, Samsung believes in a hybrid approach. As I said, we think that FWA is a great tool to deploy and cover these unserved and underserved and should be allowed uh, for the BEAT deployments. In fact, many of the states are looking at FWA as a potential tool to deploy both fiber and fixed wireless access as part of a BEAT funding program. Now, can you tell us about how Samsung is helping customers address this opportunity from a product perspective? Just take us through the solutions and maybe highlight the differentiated value that Samsung can provide. 
Samsung has uh, pretty much every radio, every 3GPP radio in its portfolio. And uh, we can provide uh, solutions for various use cases. I mean, whether it is high capacity, low capacity, dense urban, urban, rural scenarios, we do have product for all those. And uh, I mean, if I just take an example of high capacity uh, environment, our massive MIMO solutions are industry best. Uh, we do support uh, beam forming and MU MIMO technology, which are really key enablers for high capacity and can deliver these high throughput environments. Uh, one of the requirements, in fact, some of the states are posing when it comes to beat is basically that 100 by 100 service. And with our 5G massive MIMOs, uh, with CBRS, we can deliver around 4 GBPS capacity in downlink and 1 GBPS capacity in uplink. So, so look at the high capacity. This 100 by 100 service can be very easily met uh, with, with you know, this kind of solutions. We do have radios which are uh, 44R, 88R, massive MIMO, depending on the use case. Uh, all of them are supported. So Samsung leadership and Samsung innovative solutions are the key differentiator uh, you know, when it comes to our solution delivery. Uh, and also, it is uh, supported by our great customer support in the back end for any 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 problems that you you know an operator might face in the network uh, samsung has a long term commitment to the market and definitely uh, having a great portfolio and innovative products in its portfolio well based on that it sounds like you're really ready to meet your customers wherever they are in their own technological journey can you maybe give us some summary thoughts here given the Comparison to fiber you laid out, the timelines and performance requirements associated with bead funding, and then how Samsung fits into this overall market. And in fact, I would add to you know the other the portfolio discussion we were having some time back, Samsung also does uh, our own chipsets. So unlike our competitors, we are really not dependent on uh, these chipset providers, and we can greatly help our customers uh, in time to market and reduce the, all this cycle around SCM and procurement. And we are definitely ready to support our customers in, in, in their journey, uh, wherever they are to deploy. And uh, uh, we do have great products uh, which can uh, meet all those bead requirements or, or pro probably even better uh, services and uh, you know can, can, can deliver a high performance network for FWA users. Dimple, it's a timely conversation, it's an important conversation, and I really appreciate you taking the time to share with our audience how Samsung's supporting fixed wireless access deployments in this ongoing effort to bridge the digital divide.